the um, salt box. I think these two lots of salt box. Yeah. so much trouble. We went to so much trouble when it just We're here at Heritage Square. Gordon, I want to thank you for, for meeting us. We are in the, the octagonal house, which right. is where they keep a lot of their display pieces. And Gordon, in, in, in back of us in this display case is why don't you tell us what this photo is, which is why we're here. Right. The, the photo up here is of the castle, which sat at 325 South Bunkerial Avenue. From the time it was built in the early 1880s, I, the date that's given is 1880, until uh, it was moved here in 1969. My grandmother bought the building in 1937, and we owned it until the CRA took it over in 1964. It sat on Bunker Hill for five years before they moved it here. And that photograph looks to be from the 1800s era. There's a carriage out in front yeah. that's decorated, and I think that probably was uh, there because that was the day they did the Fiesta de las Flores, which used to be a parade downtown on Hill right, Street. Right. Um, that's my guess. But, yeah, uh, late, late 19th century yeah. Bunker Hill. Yeah. Uh, they have other photographs that show uh, the movement when they moved the castle over here to uh, Heritage Square. And as some people who are watching this may know, uh, unfortunately the castle and the salt box, which my uncle owned, my great uncle, uh, uh, that were going to be the founding buildings of Heritage Square burned down, uh, unfortunately, in 1969, shortly after they were moved here. And we have some pieces from, right, or salvage from that. So this is why we're here. So we're here specifically to have you touch the door. Now. Well, this is the front door of the castle. I was here a few years ago and uh, was shown the display and they asked me about some of these pieces and I, I had a spiritual connection with this when I put my hand under because I knew I had touched this before 50 years earlier, many times. And I wasn't sure that it was the front door knob, but I went back and I watched Kiss Me Deadly that was filmed <laughs> on the porch and then the entry hall of um, the castle, and sure enough, that is the front door knob, and it brings it all back to me. Um, I can, I can hear the sound of the door as it closed. It, they were double doors with stained glass, and uh, the one on the left is the one that you opened and, and went in and out of. But when it closed, they sort of rattled together. It brings it all back because I can hear it right now. They have some other pieces. All of the interior doors, or many of them, had glass doorknobs. This one is. Uh, Probably cast iron. Yeah, but uh, I can hold have, that for you. They have one of these. these they were all these glass doorknobs, which um, many of which probably didn't survive the fire. They probably melted, uh, but this one is is one of them. Um, the castle originally had uh, gas lighting, um, and so there are some. And electricity was added later. Um, they have some of the uh, globes from uh, some of the interior. Uh, lighting, but there was a, a gas, um, what do you call it, sitting on the uh, pillars of the uh, stairway in the entry hall were uh, big gas lighting fixtures. People, were people can probably watch uh, Meet Me in St. Louis yeah. with Judy Garland to, see, those get, things, to yeah. see to see how those actually work in a Victorian household. Yeah. Well, Gordon, I want, I want to thank you. We just want to do a quick quick snapshot of, yeah. of our visit here, and we'll do a little more digging, and people can see you on the uh, Lowdown on Downtown tour. That's right. Talking about Bunker Hill. Gordon, Gordon, we'll Gordon be there and do that. Yes. often talks about Bunker Hill, and, it, and we'll, we'll, we do stuff all the time. Right. So thank you, Gordon. My pleasure. Wonderful being here. OK, well, let me get a sip of tea. You're going to hold this. Fantastic. That is the front door now. Did it change the lighting?